Welcome to Airborne Technologies here in Wiener Neustadt, Austria. I'm Patrick Ryan, and I'll be walking you through a demonstration of two very unique communication locator systems. These two systems are Artemis, built by Smith Myers, and Blackfish, built by Horizon Technologies. To demonstrate the capabilities of these two very unique systems, we're going to fly a generic multi-mission profile similar to a police surveillance mission or search and rescue operation. Today's demonstration flight will be flown by a P-68R. The mission systems on board this aircraft include an MX-10, an Artemis cell phone locator, a Blackfish sat phone locator, Airborne Lynx mission management system, and many more other components on board this aircraft. Also, these are systems are included in an Airborne Technologies workstation. The crew has already taken off and they're proceeding to the target area. What you see on the screen right now is a live downlink feed to the command center here at Airborne Technologies. The crew is trying to identify a sat phone with an individual they've already started picking up information that there is a sat phone active in the target area. So the crew is proceeding to that known unknown at this time, sat phone, using the Blackfish system. And also what you see here is the, the Blackfish system display. The system has now identified an active sat phone operating right now. The blue indicator on the screen is a function of Blackfish and shot over overlay map that identifies when a sat phone is active. So now the crew is swinging the EOIR sensor ball over to that location now to locate and truly identify that's their suspect. And then what you see now is the crew tracking the individual. We are now switching to the second part of our mission today. The crew is going from a law enforcement operation now to a search and rescue operation. They're going to now to use the Artemis cell phone locator system. In this case, we have a lost individual lost somewhere up in the mountains, uh, either along the roads or in the forest. Artemis system is able to find in both environments in this case. So what you see now is the crew using Artemis. And if you look, just like Blackfish, you now have a symbol from Artemis identifying that there is a cell phone in that area. The crew, as I mentioned before, is, has identified the individual. Now with the EOIR, they're trying to identify the guy, but also the Artemis system, you're able to SMS and voice communicate with that cell phone. So the crew is identifying and communicating with this individual. You can see that on the screen with the individual waving. Along with that, you can see the accuracy of Artemis with the, the indicator on the, the overlay, which is an identified with green. Artemis is also capable of identifying cell phones, even in uh, wooded areas or areas that have large green canopies. What you saw before was open terrain. In this case, we had the victim now move into the woods to prove that Artemis works. As you can see, the individual is in the woods and the crew is still able to identify his cell phone using Artemis. Now what you see is the system display of Artemis from the cockpit of the aircraft. On this display, it gives the health of the system, also gives bearings. Along with that, which I think is very interesting, is this is the display that you can actually make a phone call to whoever's on the other end of that cell phone that they're tracking. We hope you got a good perspective of both communication locator systems, Artemis and Blackfish. Both are very effective at what they do especially for many different types of multi-mission operations. With that said, Airborne Technologies has a long history of integrating such systems into many types of aircraft, from fixed wing, rotor wing, and even UAVs. If you have any questions or want to know more, please come visit us here at Airborne Technologies.